When last we left our intrepid adventurers, Duncan was given a note from his wife. It was written before the Jacanus' people started torturing her. Duncan reads the letter and then reads it out loud. He tosses it down and makes sure he has his long knife from earlier. He heads out to the door, but is blocked by Marcus and Seraph. They say they will go and help him, no matter the cost. But they need to spy out the area first. A day later, they get a message from the Resistance, as well as their weapons and clothes. A note tells them where in the castle Duncan's wife Tinuelian is being held, and the exact location. Under the pretense of attending services in the castle, they make their way through the ground floor and then into the dungeons. In one of the cells, they find Robin. Freeing her, they continue on and come across a small temple with a statue of Distaria in it. On the statue's forehead, there are jewel-like markings. Akai starts ranting about the ancient enemies amongst them after getting her quiet, they try to move on. However, Seraph has fallen at the statue and starts worshipping at its feet. The party ends up dragging both of them away from the temple, and they regain some form of sanity after they've left the room. They continue to the dungeon. They find Sybil Salette's living quarters. Salette was the priestess they fought on Red Isle. They wake her up as they enter, and she tosses a spell at them and then slips into a hidden doorway. There is the sound of guards behind them, and suddenly they're being attacked by a small group of true men soldiers. The party moves quickly to avoid a stand-up fight. Eventually, they lose the soldiers. They come around a corner and encounter a true man in full armor. He says his name is Buttonwillow, and he is a sparrow looking for them. Warily they follow the man. Buttonwillow stops at a door and looks in. He turns to the party and whispers that there are too many soldiers in the room for him to face. But the woman they are looking for is in there. Duncan pushes past the door and the party follows. Inside they find Tinuelian being guarded by a dozen soldiers. The party charges forward, and the fight is joined. Although the party is tired, they manage to drive the soldiers off out another door, and then they slam it shut and bolt it. Tinuelian lays on a couch and is awake and aware. However, she has been divided into six pieces. They do the best they can to bundle the woman up and head out another door following Buttonwillow. They are moving through the between walls, and after about an hour of travel, they open a door into a large outdoor market, which they quickly blend into. Finn asks, how are they going to escape? Buttonwillow says that they have made arrangements to hide the party in the city. Morgan shakes her head and says that there's another way, if Buttonwillow can get them across town to the temple. Buttonwillow says he can, holding the dungeon door open. He says he wants Morgan to come with him and see something, but just Morgan. Warily, Morgan follows Buttonwillow. And a few moments later, they come back and they see that Morgan is visibly shaken, but she doesn't say why. The rest of the party asks her what she saw, but she says that this is not the time to talk about it. They need to get to the temple now more than ever. Buttonwillow leads them through the lesser-used streets to the temple of Chaldasea. <laughs>